and it's great. All right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my lovies. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, my lovies. How are you today? And I hope that you are well today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling well? That is awesome because if you're feeling well, Miss King is feeling well. Let me give you my morning hugs. Hello, good morning. Uh, hello, good morning, my loves. Uh, all right, are we ready? Are you ready? Because you know what time it is. What time is it, my lovies? It's time for school wall. <laughs> all right, my lovies. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's say hello to everyone that is here today. Let's say good morning and let's say hello. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go, ladies. time to do what? Learn. All right, my lovies. All right. Let's find out what. What is the question every morning? Every morning when we get up and we stretch, oh, oh, what is today? What is today? Oh, and then what's the second question? What is the weather? Yeah. When you look outside, what's the weather? And you go, and what's today? All right, so let's find out what today is. Remember, it is what? Calendar time. Let's find out what the day is. All right, all right, all right. Remember the four parts to the calendar. We do the 12 months, then the day of the week, then the number of the day, and then the year. The four parts, all right? So let's go over our 12 months. All right, lovies, all right. Here it is. Here it is. All right, here we go. The 12 months of January, February, March, and April, May and June and July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months, 12 months in a year. All right, let's rock those 12 months. Let's rock it. All right, here we go. Rocking the 12 months. Here we go. Let's rock. Hey, January, February, March, and April. May and June and July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months, 12 months, in a year, January, February, March and April, May and June and July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months, 12 months, in a year, all right. That's the 12 months. All right, lovies. All right, that's the 12 months. All right, now, every month that we have gone through has a what? A yellow circle. Yellow circle, January, we went through February, we went through March, we went through April, we went through May, we went through June, we went through July. <gasps> we went through August. It has a yellow circle. We finished August yesterday. So what is the next month? What is that? 
September. September, we are in a new month. Wow, September. All right, let's remember. Can you say September? September. <laughs> September. All right, lovies. All right. Let's find out the day now. We find out the month is September. September. Wow. Now let's find out the day. What is the day? What is the day? All right, here we go. How many days in a week, lovies? Seven. Good job. Seven days in a week. All right. Yeah. Let's go on quick. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How does the song go? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, let's do our seven days. Rock and roll. All right, let's rock and roll it. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, all right. Now, we know that yesterday was what? Here's the last circle. Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. And Tuesday we played if we could, because there was a lot of rain yesterday. Tuesday, we played inside or outside. We went to sleep Tuesday night. We woke up this morning, and this morning is the next day. And what is the next day after Tuesday? Good job, lovies. It is Wednesday. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday. Let's put our circle over because today is Wednesday. And what is Wednesday? What do we call Wednesday? Good job. Hump day. Say it again. Hump, hump day. Right. Wednesday is hump day. Hump day. All right. Why? Because it is the what? Middle of the week. You have to go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays at the top of the hump. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. So now after Wednesday, we're on our way what? Down. Uh-huh. Hump day. <laughs> hump day. Wednesday, the middle of the week. All right, now let's find out the number of the day. All right, here we go. I see September. I see it. I see September. I see September. I see September. All right, I see the month is September. And I see that what? The year is what, 2021 or 2021? All right, all right, I have to change one thing. Here we go, I have to change that. All right, all right, and I will explain that in a few minutes. Now, we have what? 30 days in September, there's the 30. Remember, some, month, some months have 31 days like August, and some months have what? 30 days. September has 30 days. All right, let's get familiar with our numbers on the calendar. One through 30, let's go through them. All right, here we go. Let's count them, let's check out the numbers and as we count, ready? Here we go, 30, let's sing it twice. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, all right. The number's on the calendar, it's 30. And you're doing so well, you can count to 30, isn't that great? That is awesome, you are counting to 30. All right, go, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30. 30, yay, awesome. And we're gonna count to 30 one more time today because today is what, number day. So we will count to 30 one more time. But right now we're gonna count, we have counted to 30 for the calendar and we're gonna find out what the number of the day is. All right, it is September. All right, and today is what? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day. All right, we are going down. One, today is the first day of September, number one. Mm -hmm. The first day of September. Let's say it all together. Today is Wednesday, September. First, yeah, because the one means the first day. Number one, number one means the first. All right, let's say it again. Wednesday, good job. September 1st. All right, Wednesday, September 1st. Let's put a circle on the first. All right, all right, September. September has two special days in it. Two, two special days. Here's our yellow circle because today is the first day. All right. See, we start all over from number one at the beginning of each month. All right. September has two special days. Two. Do you know what those special days are? All right. Let me tell you. On the sixth day of September, it is called a holiday. Holidays are special days in the month where mom and dad don't have to go to work and you don't have to go to school. Uh huh. Everybody has a day off on those special days. Monday is September 6th on the sixth day we have a day off, it's called Labor Day, Labor Day. And here it just shows a few things that people do. You have a fireman, you have a work, a person that works with uh, tools, you have a doctor's thing that shows you that there could be a doctor or someone on the computer, yeah, Labor Day. And Labor Day celebrates everybody that works everybody that goes to school it says hey that's great that we do that and that everybody deserves an extra day off just because you go to work and you go to school yeah and you do deserve a day off yes an extra day after the weekend so you're gonna have saturday sunday and monday off this week yeah uh-huh the labor day they say labor day Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets to sleep late that day. 
mommy and daddy do little extra things and relax at home before they have to go back to work on Tuesday. But on Monday, everybody has the day off. All right? All right. All right. And the second special day is, this is 22. This is the number 22. When we get to 22, it won't be summer anymore. It's going to be the fall season. The fall season begins. This has the different color leaves on it. So you know that it's the fall. The fall begins on the 22nd day of September. No more summer after that. So we only have a few more weeks of summer. The weather is going to begin to get a little cooler. It won't be as hot. And then you're going to see what's going to happen in the fall. The leaves are going to change colors. But we will talk about the fall when the fall comes. All right, all right, all right. So today is Wednesday, September 1st. All right, good job, lovers, good job. Now, Wednesday, September 1st. Can't believe it. It's September already. Wow. We're almost finished with all the months. All right, lovies, all right. Now, let's see what the weather is. It is September 1st. So let's see what the weather is outside today. What is the weather outside today? Hmm. Ah, let's see. <laughs> What's the weather today? What's the weather today? What's the weather today? What's the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it stormy? Is it snowy? What's the weather? All right, by Miss King, the weather is bright and sunny after such a rainy day yesterday. You see, you sang that rain away from Miss King, and now she has a sunny day. It is sunny. It is sunny. It is sunny out today. Oh, we love when it's sunny, so we can go outside and play. Yes, it is a sunny, sunny day out. All right, what is the weather by you? Did you go to your window? Okay, here we go. Miss King is going to count five seconds. Ready? One, two, go and see what your weather is. Come back. Three, four, five. Good job. What is the weather by you? All right. Awesome sauce. All right, we are all living in different areas, so we're having different weather again. All right, some of you are having a bright and sunny day like Miss King. And some of you are having a cloudy day. Uh-huh, but Mr. Sun is right behind those clouds. And you can still go outside and play. Yeah, cloudy day. And some of you are having now a rainy day. Uh-huh. It's okay. Remember, the rain has to feed nature. The trees, the grass, the insects, uh-huh. The uh, squirrels and the birds. Yeah, they feed the water, yeah. So the rain has a purpose. All right. And if you have to go outside, what do you wear? Right. Your umbrella, your rain boots, your rain jacket. Good job so that you don't get wet. All right. So some are having rainy. Some are having cloudy, some are having snow. I mean, sunny. Ooh, I hope nobody's having snow. <laughs> and some are having a sunny day, just like Miss King. All right, all right. And what is the season? That's right, it's still the summer season. And the summer season has only a few more days to go, and then we have to change seasons. Yeah, so it's still hot. But the temperature is starting to come down some. Uh-huh. 
All right, it is summer. All right, you can still wear your short sleeve shirts because it's still warm enough for that. Uh huh. And you can still go to the beach and you can still go outside and play. Uh huh. And you can still go on a picnic to the park. Uh huh. And you're going on a late vacation too. Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. It is the summer. Good job, lovies. Good job. All right, now, I hope this won't stay here. <laughs> Let's put that down. All right, all right. Now, lovies, lovies, lovies. Today is Wednesday, and today is number day. But let's quickly go over and review what we have learned today, this week. Review. All right, so on Monday, we learned the letter what? It was letter day. We learned the letter I. Big I, little I. What began with I? I made two sounds, right? I and I. I for ice cream and I for igloo. I, I, big I, little I. Ice cream and igloo. All right. And we found out that I was also for, with this little I sound, ig insects, insects. And this is a picture of some insects. Ooh, this is a grasshopper. You see the grasshoppers in the grass jump, jump, jump. Mm -hmm. They love, they love the grass, the grasshoppers. Then you have ants. You see those little brown ants in your backyard, sometimes in the front. Uh-huh. And they be busy, busy, busy going into the ant hole. The ants go marching one by one. Uh-huh. The ants go marching two by two. Sometimes you see a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And they take food that you leave on your picnic table. Uh huh. And they take it down into their homes and they store that food. Ants, ants. And don't let an ant get on you. He's going to crawl all over your body. Ants, yeah. And don't go near an ant hill. You might get a lot of ants on your feet. Mm -hmm. Ants, those little ants, those are insects. Uh huh. And this is a leaf, a leaf stick, uh, what do they call it? It is called a, <laughs> a leaf insect, leaf, leaf, because it looks a little bit like a leaf. And when it crawls on a tree, you don't know if it's a leaf or an insect. It looks just like one. Yeah, a leaf insect. Then, of course, there's a ladybug. Ladybug. Ladybugs are insect. This is a goliath beetle. Goliath. They call it goliath because it is a giant, big beetle. You don't want that. You don't want to see that. And then they have this little spider. That's an insect. And then you have a honeybee. That's an insect. Those little flies that be in the air that bother you. <laughs> Those are insects. It's butterfly. Looks like a butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. Those are insects. Ooh, insects. You know what else are, are insects? Caterpillars are insects. You know what? I know a caterpillar that wants to tell you all about his little life. Yeah, he's a funny caterpillar. Yeah. Let's, let's see what that caterpillar has to say. <laughs> he's a funny caterpillar. Let's share the screen. Let's see what that caterpillar has to say. Caterpillar. He wants to talk about being a caterpillar. All right. Let's see what he has to say. Here he is. The caterpillar turns into pretty butterflies and they eat a lot, but he has a lot to say. Mr. Caterpillar. These here greens are powerful tasty. Why, excuse me. I'm a caterpillar, and I'm a lean, mean, eating machine. Farmers and gardeners complain that I got a motor mouth, but I don't pay them no mind, no sir. 
Cause I got me a dream. Someday, somehow, I'm gonna float like a butterfly. When caterpillars eat, their insides grow, but not their outsides. So eventually they just bust right out of their skins and keep on snacking. We shed our skin up to five times before we're ready for metamorphosis. That's a fancy word for changing shape, y'all. After spinning a cocoon out of silk, we take us a two-week power nap. Meanwhile, our six little legs grow real long. Our soft pro legs disappear. We sprout antennae and then wings. Yep, someday I'm gonna fly high up into that big blue sky. But meanwhile, I gotta keep fighting the good fight. Them wasps and birds think I'm soft and slow. Chumps. I'll scare them off with my bright colors and big personality. I'm quite the specimen. You measly humans only got 629 muscles, but I got 4,000. I lifted that twice earlier. You should have been here. Oh, dang. You'll have to excuse me, y'all, for I believe the time has come for me to skedaddle. <laughs> he had to skedaddle. He had to skedaddle. <laughs> oh, he eats a lot, don't he? Just bust out of his skin five times. Wow. Before they become a butterfly. Wow. Okay. All right there, Mr. Caterpillar. <laughs> All right, Mr. Caterpillar. All right. That is cool. All right now. All right. It is time for counting. It is number day. It is Wednesday. It is math and counting. And we are going to do what? We're going to count to 30 one more time. All right. And then we will find out what the number of the day is. All right. That's why I left the counter down. So that we can count to 30 one more time. All right. Let's count to 30 one more time, and then we will find out what the number of the day is. All right, all right. But before we do that, let's just do one more thing. We went through Monday, and we didn't review Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday was what? The color purple. Purple, 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 like what? Grapes, grapes, grapes. And I have something that's purple it's called a duster and mine's is purple and it gets all the dust off the furniture in the house mommy takes the duster and she dusts all over the place and then she can take the duster and tickle your nails yeah tickle 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 all right ah duster oh make your nose feel funny yeah, tickle, tickle, tickle. All right, now. All right. So now we're at Wednesday and we got to count. All right, lovies. All right. Let's count to 30 one more time. Here we go. Let's count to 30. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yay, you counted to 30 again. Good job, lovies. Good job. You are counting so well. You counted to 30 again. Now let's find out what the number of the day is. What is the number of the day? All right. I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh-huh. It is the number nine, 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 nine. It's the number nine. Nine, nine, nine. It's the number nine. All right, all right, all right. And what is on the back of the number card? 
Let's see, let's see. <laughs> it is ducks. What's the sound that ducks make? Ducks make the sound. What's the sound the ducks make? Quack, quack. Good job. Ducks make the sound of quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Good job. Let's count these ducks. Let's count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine, nine ducks. All right, all right, all right. The number nine. What are those ducks doing? I think those ducks are laughing. You want to hear how those ducks are laughing? Do you know what ducks sound like when they laugh? <laughs> those ducks laughing. <laughs> Those are so happy that something is making them laugh so hard, but they are laughing. Nine laughing ducks. All right, all right. Those ducks are laughing. All right. <laughs> now it's time for our nine magic card. Here we go. Nine, the number nine, and it magically turns into nine snails. Ew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine slow, slimy snails. Ew. The number nine turns into nine slimy snails. Look, nine, nine. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. I have what? I have nine. Let's count lion lollipops. Our lollipops. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine delicious lollipops for nine sweet lovies. Nine. All right, let's put them back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lollipops. All right. Now, uh oh, let's see if we can build a tower. How tall is it going to get? Let's take out nine, nine Lego blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, nine. All right, here we go. Mega blocks down. All right, let's make a tower. All right, here we go. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Too when you get off from school. 
All right, let's put them back. Let's take the pot. Nine mega blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, nine mega blocks. All right, let's do some more counting. It is counting day. Let's go to our math games and do some counting. All right. Let's do some counting. Let's go to our math games. Let's see what game are we going to play today. All right. Here we go. We are going to do what? We're gonna count pictures. Yay, let's count them. Let's count pictures. All right, here we go. Let us count pictures. All right. Let's just do a few of them. Are we ready? All right, let's listen, let's count. All right, here we go. How many fish are there? How many fish? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen fish, and we have to put the number fifteen in. 15 is a 1 and a 5. 15. All right. We got it. Go. Wow. How many fish are there? Let's count these fish. Ready? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I think I counted an extra one. Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. All right, we did it right. Let's put in nineteen. Nineteen is a one and a nine. Nineteen. All right, great job. Oh boy, how many flowers are there? How many flowers do you see? One, good job. One, we have to put a one in, the number one. One, good job. How many flowers are there? Are we ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. Wow, let's put eighteen in. Eighteen is a one and and eight, 18. All right, good job, wonderful. All right, two more, two more number, two more questions and then we'll be finished. Good job, lovies, you are so smart. All right, here we go. How many fish are there? How many fish are we ready? Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty fish. And the number 20 is what? A number two and a zero. 20. All right. Good job, lovies. All right, last one. How many fish are there? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 13 fish, and 13 is a one and a three. Awesome job, lovies. Yes, good job, lovies. We did it. Yay! We did all of that counting. You guys did a lot of work. All right, all right, all right. A lot of work. Yes, you did. Wow. You did a lot of counting, lovies, a lot. You deserve a hand clap, you really do. <laughs> that was a lot of counting. Yay. You did a lot of counting today. All right, lovies, all right, all right. Now, there is one thing that we have to learn, two things that we have to talk about. Our opposite words for the week. Yes, and our rhyming words for the week. Opposites, remember, opposite words mean the opposite. One does one thing and then it totally does another thing. Totally opposite. Last week was what? Open and shut. That was it last week. Opposites open and shut. This week, your opposites are up, U, P, up, up, up. And the other word is down, 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 D, D, O, W, N, down, up, and down up and down, totally opposite, up and down, opposite, up and down, up and down, up and down, stand up, stand up, good job, sit down, sit down, sit down, down, good job, that's opposite, up and down, all right, all right. Now, our rhyming words, our rhyming word, which sounds the same, but doesn't mean the same, is cat and hat. Cat, hat, sounds the same, right? Has the same ending, cat and hat. Cat, C-A-T, and hat, H-A-T. You know what a cat is, cat goes what, meow? And a hat is a hat that goes on your head. All right. And you know what? I have a cat and a hat. Hey, my friends. I'm Dr. Seuss, a cat in a hat. I'm a cat. And this is my hat. Cat in a hat. And you know, I can go up. And I can come down, up, down, up, down. All right. He is a cat in the hat that went up and down, up and down. All right. Cat and hat is our rhyming words. Up and down is our opposites word. Opposites. Up and down. Cat and hat. All right, lovies. All right. 
All right, lovies, we are going to do what? We are going to see. Let's read a book about an insect called the very quiet cricket. Very quiet, that cricket was very quiet. Let's read the story. The very quiet cricket. Very quiet. He was very quiet. Very quiet cricket. All right. He is very quiet cricket. All right. All right, lovies, it is story time. And today's story is The Very Quiet Cricket. Yeah. The Very Quiet Cricket. This is a cricket by Eric Call. All right, Eric Call writes a lot of these books, these children books. He's a very famous author for children's books. All right, let's open the book and read the story. Here we go. There are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Oh, wow, some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Hmm. Both male and female crickets can hear. That means both boy and girl crickets can hear. But only the male, the boy, can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. Wow. Eric Call, the very quiet cricket. He's the author. He writes the book. And he is also the illustrator. He drew all of the beautiful pictures. That's fantastic. Okay, let's read the story. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. There he is. Oh, he's a little cricket. <laughs> Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Nothing happened. Well. Good morning, with the locust, with, with the locust, good mornings. Spinning through the air, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Wow, there's the locust. What is that? Hello, whispered a praying mantis, hello. Scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Not a sound.
All right, my lovies, all right. Miss King apologizes, my lovies. We will see that, finish that story tomorrow. Yeah, we'll finish it tomorrow. The cricket made not a sound. And we'll see what happens tomorrow, okay? We will definitely see what happens tomorrow. Yes. All right, lovies, all right. It is that time. We will see what happens tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah. Get the package.